going on to my channel today. I'm doing a general love reading for a sign of Pisces, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Pisces, okay? If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Let me repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. Another thing to do is we have a website where there's, you know, a sale currently going on until the 29th. Alright, you should definitely check that out while it's there. And if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so, okay? So, Pisces are the bottom of the deck for the overall, you know, situation in this love situation. <laughs> we have the Hermit. Okay, now the Hermit is Virgo, so maybe your person is a Virgo or they have Virgo placements, or you do, either way, that's not the main point. The Hermit, so there's a bit of distance between you and them, there's a bit like, um, yeah, just not really a lot of stuff going on between you and them, kind of like, not really a lot of communication, not really a lot of being around each other, very distant, the Hermit. Having a look at the past between you and them, we have the Tower, which is Scorpio. Six of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the, or the past between you and them is, there was like a Tower moment, there was a lot of Tower moments happening, however, things, it feels like it was very unstable in the past, but it feels like things were improving here, alright, things were getting better very unexpectedly, okay. Have a look how they currently feel towards you, we have the Sun which is Leo, Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. How they feel towards you is you make them happy and they're expecting a new start between you and them. Alright, so they're wanting a new start and you make them very happy here, Pisces. Alright, that's pretty, pretty genuine feelings. I forgot I had these cards out and in the way of everything. So, Let's have a look how you feel towards them, and that's going to be the Queen of Swords, which is Air, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. How you feel towards them is you're a bit unsure about them at times, you're a bit unsure about what to do with this person at times, it's like, what do I, what do, I do here? Probably because they confuse you a little bit. Um, can be actions of the past that they have done, but I think it's getting more clear to you here, Pisces, and your feelings is... Your feelings is of that of being detached towards them, or detaching from them. Queen of Swords. Have a look at their intentions towards you. We have the Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, which is Air, with the Page of Pentacles. Their intentions towards you is to maybe apologize for some things that they did, kind of work on things with you, but to also still act distant or not interested. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Pisces. So to still have that act like they don't really care a whole lot when they do. Have a look at your intentions towards them. We have the Chariot, which is Cancer. Ten of Cups. Put the Six of Cups here. Your intentions towards them is to still, you know, hang on to this person, is to be with this person, and to move things forward with them. Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. You hold them very dearly to you as well. So there's a bit of confliction here on your side. As well as their side too, apparently. So, have a look at the outcome between you and them. We have the Death card, which is Scorpio. Ten of Swords, High Priestess, which is your own card. Outcome between you and them, Pisces, is you're already aware of this, but it not really being... Um, anything long-lasting. The Ten of Swords, that is an ending, and that is the outcome between you and them. Messages and advice for you, we have number 16 with thoughts. Stay optimistic about your love life. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Finances and career. Union, inner child, unawakened and destruction. Okay, the Pisces. What you need to really focus as, focus on right now is your career. Okay, your money. Um. Yeah, I don't really see it working between you and this person because it feels like they're unawakened and they're very like cold. They're too cold at times. You can't be 
so icy when you're trying to be in a relationship, right? Still have that optimism, though, because you are going to have someone else coming into your life who's going to be, you know, someone that you're supposed to be with here. Where there's going to be an actual union. You're going to, like, actually have actual conversations with this person instead of, like, talking to a wall at times. You know, or someone who just doesn't get you. So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, if you would like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.